Live from the Moscone Convention Center in San Francisco, California, it's The Cube at Oracle Open World 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Cisco Systems, with support from NetApp. And now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everyone here live at uh, Oracle Open World 2014. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. Go out through the events and start to signal noise. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Frick, wrapping up day one. Jeff, uh, man, exciting long day, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. The Cisco booth where we are live, CUBE one. Um, is here, Cube 2, is it the Q Logic booth? I'm sure they're calling theirs Cube 1 and ours Cube it's 2. It's Studio C and Studio Q. <laughs> there's no John. 1 and 2, there's no real, it's, 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 these are numbers. C and Q. Gold and silver, or <laughs> gold and platinum, whatever you want to call it. We have two live broadcasting stations going up on the net right now as we speak. The Q Logic, this is where we're in the Cisco booth. We're breaking it down, we had a great guest. We started there with Kim Stevenson and a slew of great guests, rocking the house here. Um, bottom line, Oracle um, is shooting Big bullets here uh, into the crowd, basically saying we are here at the cloud, essentially putting meat on the bone. Last year I said, love Oracle, all sizzle, no steak. Here they got the grill, they got the sizzle and the steak. You're starting to see the plethora of products coming out from uh, Oracle, and I got a, the, the long list here. Um, the thing that I'm most impressed about is the marketing cloud. I think that the marketing cloud is going to be one of the biggest, air, hottest areas to explode. We had Dan Hutchinson earlier, basically giving a crowd chat testimonial, Jeff. As you know, we're passionate about that product, but more importantly, the role of the user, the, the, the mobile user is connected to the network now with their mobile device. Internet of Things is connecting machines and industrial equipment and businesses from data center to sensors. So that means every single thing is connected to an IP network. That means businesses, Jeff, as we've always said in theCUBE, in fact, we're the only ones who have called this, everything is instrumentable. That means big data is driving business. And I think you're going to see Oracle want to wrap that data on top of their system and provide the workflow. Yeah, and just the continual push towards cloud of virtualization, just the virtualization this just keeps going up and up and up. And uh, I like, we had Sherry on from Cisco talking about their intercloud and actually connecting clouds with other clouds and being able to seamlessly move workflows from one cloud to the other. Uh, clearly, the, the big players are behind cloud. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's on, it, as you would say, in the game. And I think that, you know, we know Larry likes to come in sometimes a little bit late to trends, but when he comes in, he comes in hard, and he comes in fast, and he comes in to win. So I think clearly uh, we're going to see it, we're going to continue to see more, and I'm excited for uh, day two. The big theme from day one in the keynote last night is engineered systems and software in the silicon. You're seeing Larry Ellison basically pulling the Steve Jobs playbook by saying, we will engineer the hardware and software together that's a big theme, and obviously the cloud architecture. We heard from some, from some folks here, you know, Oracle was sick and tired of their stuff being virtualized, so they decided to break down and get it virtualized with their partners like Cisco and others, and you're seeing that huge, huge shift. Also, Jeff, big news, kind of nuance here, we pick up on things that, that, that not, not everyone else does, is that Oracle has a huge storage presence. You're seeing storage, flash, comparison to EMC, and big news that EMC is not even here. They have no booth here. Do you know that? EMC does not have a booth here. EMC is not present. They're here uh, only in person. For 18 years, EMC has had a booth, and for the first time, EMC has not had a booth. So, really notable point there. I'm sure EMC's not happy with me by sharing that data, but again, it's the facts of the facts. They're undisputable. The other thing that's interesting is Oracle touting their 30-year Jeff, database experience. Larry basically saying, this is how we've done Oracle. We've always changed it based on customer requirements, moving the ball down the field. And I, I think he's really legit this time. I think he is on, on task with similar transformations. I think Oracle's pretty much done this twice in their history over 30 years. This will be, in my opinion, third major transformation. Client server, I'll bundle mainframe in there, local area network PC and whatnot, and ultimately now, full on cloud transformation. So I see, Oracle definitely going there with cloud. Are they even getting started is the question. And I think that's the thing that I want to see in the headlines is, not is Oracle losing, not is Oracle failing, not Oracle in transition, it's really, can, how, how early is this for Oracle? 
I mean, are they truly at the beginning? Is the toe in the water, or are they jumped in the deep end? Yeah, I mean, the other thing I think that Dave mentioned on our last segment was, you know, tier one production workloads. I mean, this is about, about big applications, critical applications, and, and moving those applications with the virtualized environment and eventually into the cloud. Tier one production workloads, you know, we, we talk to a lot of startups, we talk to a lot of kind of new and developing trends, but here at this, at this show, with the folks we've been talking to, it's really about heavy duty lifting, on big production workloads and doing those better. So, I think uh, I think they're in, John. I don't think they're uh, I think they're in all the way. Look, here's the bottom line. Oracle is in the cloud business. They're going to have infrastructure as a service, which is the commodity pricing. You're going to see them have all the bells and whistles. This is Larry Ellison's playbook. Okay, it's going to be handed down to the new generation, the new manager. Even though he's going to be in charge, this is the playbook. What customers want, you give it to them and you compete. Infrastructure as a service, commodity. He'll check the boxes. Two, platform as a service, moving up the stack. All the bells and whistles around orchestration and automation, again, Oracle-centric, the red stack is playing out, and then software as a service, you hear marketing cloud, then you hear human capital management, ERP and other things. That's a direct strike at Salesforce. So look at the collision between Salesforce, Jeff, that's the big story, and then we're going to hear more of it tomorrow. Again, there are partners be getting behind Oracle. This is a real deal, in my opinion, worth notable. I think they're not hurting, they're going to be successful, so that's my take. Um, this is a wrap from day one. We'll see you tomorrow. Stun tune in to siliconangle.tv, live.siliconangle.tv, and of course, go to crowdchat.net slash OOW14 for all the conversations. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Frick. That's a wrap for day one.